ZenCam. In this video, we will cover how to set up a ZenCam Cloud account. We will show you how to activate cloud service, enable cloud storage, select a service plan, set a video storage password, and playback cloud recordings. Before you proceed, please make sure your ZenCam is connected to your Wi-Fi network and ensure motion detection is enabled and configured. If you haven't already completed these steps, please view our other videos first prior to continuing with this tutorial. Once your ZenCam is connected to your Wi-Fi network and motion detection is enabled, you can activate cloud storage. To get started, launch the ZenCam app on your mobile device. Tap on your camera's thumbnail image to access your camera. At the bottom, tap on Cloud Recordings. Drag the message at the bottom upwards to reveal the green Activate Cloud Storage button. Tap it to proceed with the activation. Here you can select a cloud service plan. There are three plans to choose from, 7, 14, and 30-day service plans. The number refers to the consecutive days of recorded video stored on the cloud. For example, the seven day plan lets you go back and review recorded video up to seven days old. The 14 day plan lets you review the previous 14 days of video and 30 lets you review the last 30 days. After all days in the plan have passed, the plan will repeat itself. ZenCam Cloud will start the plan days over again and record over day one's footage for another seven consecutive days or 14 or 30 depending on the plan you've selected. Older recordings will no longer be accessible once recorded over. The plan term is 29 days from the date of purchase of your cloud account. You can select the plan that works best for you. Then tap Buy at the bottom. You'll be prompted to enter in a credit card number or PayPal account for your payment method. You can elect to renew your cloud service manually or you can select to have the cloud service renew automatically so you can be sure to never miss a day of recording. With auto renewal, your subscription will be renewed every month until you cancel it. If your service has expired, you can simply tap to extend service at the bottom of the screen. After you've selected your payment method, tap confirm payment. On the following screen, you can enter the name that appears on your card, a phone number associated with your card, and the card number. Then tap the Pay button. If you choose to pay with PayPal, please enter your PayPal login credentials and proceed with your payment. Give the app a moment to securely process your payment. When complete, a payment successful message will appear confirming your transaction was successful. After 15 seconds, the screen will return to the previous page, which now shows your current cloud storage plan, expiration date, and remaining time. Tap the back arrow to return to the previous screen. At any time, you can check the status of your storage plan by going to the device information screen. From there, tap on storage status, followed by cloud storage. Here you will see the current status of your cloud storage plan, and you can also extend service at the bottom. Tap the back arrow to return to the device information screen. To set a password for your recorded videos on the cloud, tap on Cloud Storage Security and select Video Storage Password. Type in the old password. The default is admin. If you have never changed the password before, please use the initial password which is the device's serial number. Then create a new password consisting of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, or special characters. Take great care to remember your password for future use. Please note, cloud recordings are linked to the password at the time of the recording. Recordings prior to the password change will require the old password in order to be viewed. If you lose your old password, you will not be able to view these older recordings. Access to new recordings after a password change will require the new password. When finished setting your password, Tap the Save button on the top right. Then tap the back arrow to return to the previous screen. If you want the ZenCam app to remember your password so you don't need to type it in in the future, tap Remember Password. Once enabled, a password will no longer need to be entered to view cloud recordings. 
This is only valid for recordings taken under the current set password. If the password is changed in the future, the older password will need to be used to view older recordings, and the new password for new recordings. Tap back to return to the live view screen. Now let's see how to play back these recordings. Tap Cloud Recordings at the bottom. Any recordings since the set password will appear here. Older recordings will not be accessible. As we mentioned, you would need to enter the old password in order to access those recordings. To play a recording, you can scroll up or down and simply tap on the recording to play it back. These recordings will be available for the number of days in your cloud storage plan. Once ZenCam Cloud reaches the end of the days in your plan, new recordings will start recording over older footage. New recordings will appear at the top of the list, as older recordings are removed from the end. Tap the back arrow, and you can also view these recordings by tapping the Events tab at the bottom. Here you can see the video recordings as video motion alerts. We hope this video has helped you learn how to activate cloud storage on your ZenCam, as well as set a security password, and play back your cloud recordings. To learn more about ZenCam devices, please see our other video tutorials, and subscribe to our channel to view our latest products and videos. Thank you for choosing ZenCam. Relax. Put peace in the palm of your hand.